the Buddha regard men and women as equal. For 2,500 years ago, it's very unusual. In Confucianism, it's male chauvinism. In Hinduism, male chauvinism. I'm not quite sure in Islam and, and, and Christianity. But the Buddha said, men and women have the same ability to be enlightened. They could all become Buddha. But we Buddhists don't leave the teaching of the Buddha. In our Buddhist history, male chauvinism is everywhere. And unfortunately, the, the lineage of the, the female Sankha disappeared thousands of thousand years afterwards and, and made the, the male become more chauvinistic. But luckily, if you go back to the root teaching, you can revive. You see, in Sri Lanka, the Pixuni organization disappeared for 1,000 years, but now they revive it. And in this country, mainstream Sankha, mainstream government don't ex accept Pixuni ordination. I support them. But I say, when the Buddha start, no state except his ordination. And now we have more than 100 Pixuni in this country. You should go and, 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 and talk to the Namananta, who's, who's a pioneer in promoting uh, Pixuni ordination. So I think. We must learn to essential teaching of the Buddha, not let culture, not let uh, institution oppress the, the female sex. The, I think that that's essential. And as you may know, in Taiwan, the six times more Pixuni than the Pixu. See, and they've done wonderful things in, 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 in Taiwan. No sexual scandal, no financial scandal, and they work for social welfare as well for social change. Tremendous. If we men learn from women, we can be more mature, we can learn to be more humble, and we can have respectful to the other gender which we have been exploiting unconsciously for so long.